Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar, and in this short tutorial, I will show you how to use fillet and chamfer commands in AutoCAD 3D modeling. And uh, we will use a simple 3D box with uh, two standards on the top. So let's start. And uh, here I am using AutoCAD 2024. But uh, if you are using a below version of AutoCAD or a future version of AutoCAD, you can still follow this tutorial. So let's get started. Here I will choose new and uh, I will select this template ACAD and I will select open. I will close this. Also I will put off these grids and here you can see I am in 3D modeling uh, workspace. Okay, so I will change this uh, from 2D to 3D. I will move this UCS icon just right click. Go to here UCS icon setting and select this option show UCS icon at origin. Here I will use uh, 3D primitives of AutoCAD and here you can see the primitives like box, cylinder, cone, sphere, pyramid, wedge and torus. So I will make a box here and uh, let's say I will make one box like this. Okay. So I will change this uh, visual style from 2D wireframe to let's say shades of grey. Okay. Now I will go to this primitive again and I will add two cylinders on the top of this box. Let's say this one. Uh, I need another uh, instance of this uh, cylinder. So I will select this command copy. I will select uh, this cylinder, press enter key to confirm and I will snap its center point and uh, here I have to put on this option ortho and I will place this cylinder somewhere here okay press escape uh, now you can see there are three individual solid bodies so first of all we have to merge these three bodies to make a single solid body so for this we have a command called union in SOLIDWORKS it is called combine I will select uh, this object I will select this object and I will select this base and I will press enter key. Now uh, these three bodies are merged to form a single solid body. Now we will apply a fillet command first and then we will apply chamfer command. So let's select a fillet edge. I will select this edge and here I will change this radius to let's say 0 0.3. Okay. I will select this edge. I will select uh, this edge. And I will rotate this object, press escape and then I will select this last edge, press enter key twice, okay. Uh, now uh, let's say I want to apply fillet edge on this top face as well, on these edges, on these edges. So let's select fillet edge again and uh, I will select this edge. Uh, let's change this radius to let's say 0 0.1 and uh, I will select this edge and I will select all these edges. Press enter key twice. Okay. Uh, next is uh, we will apply chamfer command on this uh, top face of the cylinder and on these bottom faces of this cylinder I will select this edge and here I have to reduce this uh, chamfer I will apply 0.1 by 0.1 chamfer and I will apply one chamfer here as well press enter key twice okay similarly chamfer edge select this edge and select this edge and press enter key twice okay so uh, that's how you can use uh, fillet command and chamfer command in autocad so that's it for today's tutorial i hope you like this uh, short tutorial about uh, fillet and chamfer commands i hope you like this uh, short tutorial still if you have any question any query related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.